could screw the cue ball back for the brown and green just in case well he got a big kick but the, kick, the red went in great shot yeah the cue ball jumped in the air but the red ran true to the pocket and he's off again and now it's O'Sullivan that's getting the long pots decided to go into them Well, this is awkward. The red to the left middle. Cue ball looks to be going into the blue. Good Four. pot. And played it with a touch of stun to get the right side of the blue. Now. Will he decide to open them again or play for that red just to the right of the black? Played for the red to the right of the black. And he could play the Nine. cannon to those two reds to try and hold for the black. Or he could play up for the blue. He's concerned if it's too hard. 15. And now back in prime position. He could play the cannon to those two reds just above the black. But if they go, there's no need to play it. And you can just see how much it really does mean to Ronnie O'Sullivan. All this stuff about coming here to get match practice. He's here to win, because he is a winner. One of the great champions of the sport. Yeah, back great to, fighters as well. Back to the wall at 3-0 down, but my word, as you say, Joe, come out fighting and, well, he's in again with a chance for 3-3. Three, three. 31. Yeah, I remember you saying something, I think it was in the, the second 32. frame, where he needed two snookers. He'd been totally outplayed, and yet he still came back to the table didn't have any chance of getting the snookers, but the intent was there to play on. The thing about that was he was snookered as he came to the table, 39. and sometimes you do see players concede, but no, he gave it his best. 40. Now, all the reds seem to be covering one another. Just one more loose red. Well... Depends what kind of an angle he's got. He's okay. 48. But he's not out of the woods yet. May have to play a cannon to the red above the black. Has it worked out? Can he see this red to the middle? 55. See the red to the corner. 56. Well, he deserved to be on the red from splitting the, black, the pack off the black. Well, 
It looks like we're going all the way, doesn't it? And since going 3-0 up, Kyron Wilson has potted one ball. Yes, and it was the pink 58. that he missed after that one ball that started it. 59. So, this red and it's 3-3. Three, three. What a recovery 66. this has been. Just brilliant. 67. <laughs> Wonderful snooker. And what did you say, David? I wouldn't be surprised if he made four centuries. Well, every chance of making three now. 74. There's no one quite like him, is there? 75. About a year ago, he was finally recognised in the New Year's Honours list for his services to sport. He's never once been on the shortlist for BBC Sports Personality of the Year, despite his achievements and despite having a personality. 82. Incredible, really. 83. I know one thing, every sport would like to have a Ronnie O'Sullivan. Right. 91. Well, everybody that's here tonight will remember this night. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. So this black then, for three centuries in three frames. Brilliant. Six. 108. Such a shame there's got to be a loser in this match because Kyron Wilson played equally well in the first three. 111. Not with century breaks, but he knocked in some great balls. 115. Well, talk about a game of two halves. He's gone from being like a, a man dying of thirst, crawling through the desert, to suddenly discovering an ocean. One hundred and twenty-six. This is as good as it gets, I promise you. So, one hundred and twenty-six to follow the two centuries in the preceding two frames, and in no time at all, from the brink of defeat, Ronnie O'Sullivan has forced a decider. Don't go away. It's 3-3. The decider is next.